I'm just doing my little reply video to uh, Mercurial Lumber City. Uh, I give him plenty of stick about his pop master videos because he never got any right. Oh, sorry, I'm consulted. He's after one really cheated. Ah, right, so, oh, that's even less work, isn't it? Um, Don't you just hate that where you go to overtake um, someone and they did decide that they're going to speed up? Like if mothers and fathers or the sun and the moon. Mothers and fathers or the sun and the moon. Oh, sun and the moon. Sun and the moon. Okay. What score are we going to get? Um, on a bad day, it could be six to nine. I think my best ever was was thirty six. I think so. Um, Okay. It's going to be anywhere in between. We're going, we're going for the best ever. Nothing less. 36. Right. Yeah. Lying, okay. slimy hairball. Here they come. Thank you very much. Okay. The song's rehab, Love is a Losing Game, and Tears Dry on Their Own were all hits in the noughties for which singer? Amy Winehouse. Um. Try to make me go to rehab and I hear all. Blank, blank. Amy, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, close enough, yeah. Well, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Three yeah. points. Okay. In 1974, Cockney Rebel reached the top ten singing about Mr. Who? Cockney Rebel. Cockney Mr. Soft. 1974. Mr. Oh, was that the King? Five, four, three, two, it's Mr. Soft. Check. Okay. Here comes a bonus question. The sun <laughs> and the moon. Please identify this group after hearing a clip of their 1967 debut hit. Traffic. Steve Wimbledon. Name of that group, please. 1967. Not status quo, no, uh, it would have been about the right time for their uh, debut, but not quite. It's traffic. Yes! The family group DeBarge had its biggest hit in 1985 with the top five song called Rhythm of... The Night. The Night, the Night is correct. Name the American songwriter who wrote the late 90s hits How Do I Live by Leanne Rimes, Because You Loved Me by Celine Dion, and I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. Uh, but, but Lang. What's the name of that songwriter? Steve Perry. No, actually, it's Diane Warren, um, who incidentally also wrote the Barge's Rhythm of the Night. The previous show. Here's a bonus question. The Sun and the Moon. Please name the performers of this 1968 Top 20 hit. I live for the sun. <laughs> no chance. I don't think I've ever heard this in my life. Name of that group, please. Four Seasons? Not the Four Seasons. It does sound a bit like them, but uh, they were a British group called Vanity Fair. In which year were these three songs all new entries on this week's Top 40? Ask by The Smiths. This is The World Calling by Bob Geldof. This is The World Calling by Swing Out Sister. 86. Which year? 1987. Oh! I'm afraid it was 1986. Yes! Oh, get what was the title of Carol King's 1971 multi million selling studio oh. album? Oh, Tapestry. You've got a friend, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? And it's too late. But it's, it's too late, yes. baby. Here's a bonus question to Sun and the Moon. Here's part of a 1992 top 20 hit. Please give me the name of the group. Hey, but a man on the moon, man on the moon. R.E.M. Is this a question? And nothing is blue. Name the group, please. R.E.M. It is R.E.M. And here's your final question. The late 60s, early 70s songs, On the Road Again, Going Up the Country, and Let's Work Together. Canned Heat. Were the only three top 40 hits for which American group? 
canned heat. It was canned heat. Very good. A good late run there for the tape. Well done. Got you to 18 points, Dave. So good on you. Thank you very much. Not too bad at all. 18 points. That'll do nicely. How many did I get, Ken? From Preston, it's going to be Tom McNicholas. But first of all, Bebop Deluxe. Master. Uh, Preston, good morning, Tom. Good morning, Ken. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. What are you up to this morning? Uh, he's on pop, Master. That's what he's up to. He's from Preston, you know. You know. All right, half term where you are then, is it? Okay, right, I was uh, in my neck of the woods. It was last week, so. Yeah, it's Did a duo gig in Preston last year, and this bloody girl did a strip in front of us. Bloody great it was. <laughs> Okay, lovely. Right then, um, I think I can offer you Mothers and Fathers and Rick Astley. Uh, uh, I'll, I will take Mothers and Fathers, I think. Okay, I'm ask. But uh, mothers, <laughs> mothers and Fathers it is for you. 18 points scored by Dave on the first round there. I'm exactly the same as Dave as well. Interesting. So, I'm exactly the same answers. Oh! Right, so it's, uh, yeah. This is a match. Excellent. Okay, we wish you good luck there, Tom. Thank and you. here they come. Hey, hey, hey. What colour of rain did Prince and the Revolution sing about in 1984? Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Right, three points. The 1999 number one, Everybody's Free to Wear Sunscreen, was recorded by which award-winning Australian film director? Oh, God. Everybody's free to wear sunscreen. Oh, wasn't he the guy who did, uh, oh, God. Bell Gibson, only director of uh, those, Australian. No. No, no. Right, uh, you thinking Moulin Rouge? Oh, uh, some other film. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, well, uh, no, his no, name, I'll give you his name, save the pain. It yeah. was Baz Luhrmann. Oh, yeah, well, oh, yeah. Else, Baz. Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. Honest of you. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's a mother's and father's bonus question. I'm going to play you the fifth in a run of top 40 hits achieved by this group between 1982 and 1985. All you have to do is give me the name of the group, please. It is Tears for Fears. Oh, Six points. Which singer's hits in the 80s included the songs Suddenly, There'll Be Sad Songs to Make You Cry and Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car. Get out of my dreams, Billy, uh, oh, Billy Ocean. God. Get out of my <laughs> dreams. Oh, uh, you've said Lionel Richie now, so that's Get all into take. my... <laughs> okay, you mustn't give names. Um, it was Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean. <laughs> that's right. What type of games did Janet Kay sing about on her 1979 top three single and only top 40 hit? Something games, Janet Kay. Okay, um... Mind game? Not mind, um, silly games. Oh, well, okay. Here's a bonus question. Mothers and fathers, identify this group, please, from their 1983 top ten hit, which is called Mama. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I'll never get it. I'll never get it. Mama, Mama, Genesis. I've got to say it though, haven't I? Name that group, please. Oh, it sounds funny, but I can't. You really? <laughs> He's having a laugh. It is Genesis. Stop. Oh, God, Stop right there. Right. <laughs> See, sometimes the first thing you say it helps you, sometimes it doesn't. I'm heading up more it's just there. No, 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 1983 it was. So six points there. In which year did these three songs all reach number one? Can't Buy Me Love by The Beatles, You Really Got Me by The Kinks, and Anyone Who Had a Heart by Cilla Black. 64. Good year. Now, uh, 62. No, 64. Well, hey! Jeez. What one word song title has provided different top 40 hits for Pilot in 1974, Olivia Newton John in 1980, and Coldplay in 2014? Same word, different songs, one word. Pilot, Olivia Newton John, Coldplay. Physical? Guessing? Paradise? Not Paradise, I'm afraid. Um, magic. 
Okay, here's a bonus question, mothers and fathers. I'm going to play you Cat Stevens' 1970 solo version of one of his own compositions. He also recorded this song as a duet in 2004. Which singer was the top ten duet recorded with? How can I try to explain When I do, he turns away Stevens in 1970 and 2004. He was known as Yusuf. Who did he sing that reissue with that re recorded version? Got me on that one. Oh no, it was Ronan Keating, in fact. Oh, got that recent. 2004, yeah. Okay, finally, name the lead singer with the Stone Roses who had top 10 solo hits called My Star. Ian Brown. Ian Brown is. I think he did. A monkey chunk. A wanky shank. I think he did. No, no, it's all right. That's fine. You got straight in there. So you two have 18 points. Oh, no. It is a tie, I'm afraid. So, oh, road was uh, a long road. Oh, it's a tie. Dave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You're all set. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's do a, a little bit of tie breaking for you. All right. So I'll ask each of you a question in turn. Uh, Dave, you go first. Uh, it will be a five second strict time limit on this. If you answer outside the five seconds, I won't accept it. And the first thing you say is obviously going to be the answer I take. So, um, Dave, you go first. Which group's hits in the 1990s included She's a Star and Born of Frustration? No idea. No, not a Scooby Doo. No. Okay, do you know it? Lots of Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it was James, you're absolutely right. James. Let's hope you know your own tongue. Here yeah. it comes. Which American rapper successfully revived Wild Cherry's 1976 hit, Play That Funky Music, in 1991? Play That Funky Music. It is Vanilla Ice, so there you are. You got both the questions right. That's well done. So, Tom, you have won the tiebreak. Congratulations on that. Well then, Tom. Dave, it was very, very uh, tight there, but um, you did very well indeed. So, uh, no yeah, shame at all, Dave. Just Thank heading down into nothing. If I knew the answers, I'd have done better. Um, I would Dave, as well. get the one year out t shirt, though. Thank you very much. Hey. Okay, that's very kind of you. Do you want to do a quick shout out to everybody, Dave? Um, yes, please. Uh, my wife, Sue, my two boys, Stephen and Chris, uh, Gary and Julie, um, challenge for Gary. Say hello to Jimmy to Page. That would now. I would. Uh, Mandy and Mike, uh, Anne and Mike. Mike's just I don't usually listen to this. I don't know if that's the end or not. Uh, my brother, I've had to listen to Radio 2 for half an hour so I could get onto this um, pop master today. It's not stimulating stuff, is it? Uh, Nick and Sheila and anyone and everyone who works, works with me at Lockton in London. So, uh, there we are. Is that anybody else who knows me. Excellent stuff. Dave, thank you for being on and well done to me. Thank you very much. All the best. Cheers now. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. There is Dave Edwards of Chesnut in Hertfordshire. So Tom McNicholas of Preston has gone through. Tom, you ready for this? Yay! Yeah. Oh, another one. This is three and ten. You three ten and ten. Give me three answers, if they're correct. Three, two, you one. A digital digital radio. So today, please, the titles of three UK single chart hits. Four. Three in ten. Bob Marley with or without whalers. Oh, um... Oh, we've got three little birds. Redemption song. Um, Exodus. Um, oh, no, bad luck. You got one. You got Iron Lion Zion. Um, there's a, a good old list here. You could have got Buffalo Soldier. I got the Sharon Business. Love. Gavin. No Woman, No Cry. One Love. Yeah. I was shit on that one. I'm just coming. In, I'm under. Um, just coming into Rutherland. I'm under the, under the hills. So you do get. Oh yeah. A beautiful Bluetooth speaker. Thank you, Ken. Do you want to do a quick hello to anybody? Hey, I like to say, oh no, he's from Preston, isn't he? I like to say hello to Rachel, Mandy, Paula. Robert and, and, and anyone who knows and anyone who was in that pub on Friday when I did that thing and I woke up feeling really terrible in the morning. Lovely talk, thank you very much indeed and uh, all the best to you and yours. Thanks Ken. Thanks for being on. Cheers now. Bye. Tom McNicholas of Preston. If you want to be on Popmaster, and let you do it tomorrow, but you must call us between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, 08,000, 288, 291.
I reckon I did better than the Mercurial number six though, you know what I mean? Oh, 